a side note, this character was such a one-off meme that I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> oh, just, just, just do what I do and, ex and embrace the meme as yeah, much as you can. But as <laughs> well as a meme. Yet another introduction was rude. Hello there. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh, hi! Howdy! Every time, Howdy. every time. <laughs> yeah, we, we've got to make sure every intro is rude. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I mean, it's Welcome. the count we have. <laughs> Wait, did you just broadcast my trade secrets? God damn it! <laughs> I was about, I pressed record, I said that, and then Matt started talking over me. <laughs> <laughs> and then go around for the thing. I was like, God damn it. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so recovering really quickly. Hello there. Hello everyone. Hi, it's me, uh, your boy. Uh, and welcome back to War Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. Uh, yeah, we're playing another <laughs> classic adventure from, I believe, in the 80s or 90s, back when Warhammer was good. Um, and just memes, but yeah. without any pretense of it being yeah. otherwise. We, we are experiencing the wedi wedding of uh, Nessia's wedding, I believe is the name of the adventure. Oh shit. You know. Nessia. Is this Nessia once upon a time? <laughs> <No>! <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the once upon a time family. Hopefully, and, uh, the ex witnessing the extermination of the once upon a time. I, I see that. Yeah, I see that. Now, should we remember to go through our party goals for this today's um, episode now before we get too much into it? Because oh, yeah, I actually yeah. remembered again. Hooray. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, okay, I was looking at the silly names from some of the other people in this. And forgetting why I was looking at them. Uh... Maintain the Baron's aliveness. <laughs> <laughs> I think aliveness is a state of being. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you really alive? Alive? Would someone like to do a recap for Ben because he wasn't here? No. Uh, I'm kind of autistic, honestly. Oh, so. Wait, no. doing surgery? Uh, I have no idea. I mean, I we, I we went over. Wait, were you there two sessions ago? Was he there two sessions ago? I was. I was there when we were about town, and the halfling was flossing in front of the bank, and um, <laughs> Pumin Pumin got high on blue juice. That's the last thing I know. Uh, well, uh, uh, the important part is I killed three Kislevites. Yeah, after okay. bottom god. That's jumped up here. on uh, weird ass roots and shit. Uh, he got detained by a police officer, which the Baron thought, oh, I need to kill this man because he had a grudge. And uh, then he, was he murdered the Viscount. I don't know anything Leon of von this. Leibniz. It is Viscount, thank you very much. Von, 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 von. I'm American, I don't care about titles. The, the oh, good shit. farm you mean, you're is American. ignorant I'm American. of who the... <laughs> She's the only real yes, American. By the, exactly. But I, agree, but, I do, but I do appreciate someone else who acknowledges that titles are useless. Thank you. Yes. I am the That's true American. I, movies, I, never I say as I live in Ireland. Anyway, so, um, ben. There, there might have been a short fight that ended very confusingly but the Baron's still alive for now just about <laughs> oh has he been like injured or something yes <laughs> surgery but yes. then it is an extension of the concept of not judging a book by its title would you like to roll a surgery a test yes <laughs> I will save you! This is where he dies before Ooh. the fucking <laughs> <Surgery> <laughs> <laughs> dabs him with a scalpel, he dies. He tragically <laughs> died. Uh, did, we, did, we add a, did we add a specific surgery roll, or was it heal that we were using? Uh, I can't remember I if it was Barber Surgeon, often. or if it was uh, no. heal. Uh, either, uh, either will heals, do. Heal's the one in my advanced skills. That'll do. Right. If he dies mid surgery, we're just gonna masquerade him through the wedding. Gotta right? be like, Until like he is Steve, married. Critical like success! Of 40k surgery. game where, where the guy stabs the guy who's trying to heal with the strength and kill him. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I, I don't think we need to update the short term ambitions as. Yeah, we just continued last week. 
they are currently right. still relevant. Very quick question, Cross. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're, melee weapons. Does a weapon that uses melee brawling count as a melee weapon? Melee brawling. I don't think it does. I think it counts as a brawling weapon. That's a brawling. In no. other words, do your hands count as? Weapons? Oh, no, no, no. Well, no, 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 no. I mean, is there's a term that says something applies to all melee weapons, and so anything that has the word melee in its just in its skill does oh. that count? Yeah. I'd so very like brass knuckles would be a brawling weapon. If it's weapon. brass knuckles, yes. If it's your fist, probably not. That, okay, fair I'd, enough. I'd need cool. to see it. Um, but uh, uh, to be specific, okay, strike yeah. mighty blow. Uh, you oh, deal your oh, level that of strike mighty fist. blow and extra damage to melee. That, oh, that would seriously? Include your fists, yes. I wasn't even thinking to count the fists, yeah. but I was just, I just figured when I had a weapon on. <laughs> Hell yeah! No, that would include your fists as well. Oh, yeah. that's even better. Yes. More <laughs> wind build grows stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. That's awesome. As of smash. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, what did you get, Ben? You got a eleven out of fifty critical success plus four. All right, plus four success levels. Uh, yeah. Um, let me just say the Baron is no longer on two hit points. In a in a good way. That sounds confusing. <laughs> in, in, in a good way, right? In, in the way that the it Baron now ominous. has six hit points. Hey. <laughs> Wait a second. Wounds are a bad thing in this game. Yes. Ignore that. The Baron is slightly healed. <laughs> I guess I'll be I guess I'll be babysitting the noble today. Yeah, you can you can patch up the Baron. The Baron is now better because it's been three days. All right. <coughs> oh no, I'm dying. The Baron's alive. Don't die in, in the stead of the Baron, please. Oh no. Um, what was I doing? Good question. Oh yeah, we were about to begin the adventure. Yay. <laughs> 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 um, where, where, where's my description I read off before? So, we're about to uh, kick off the the marriage of Nessia and Karl Heinz uh, uh, von Liebowitz. I'll reread the uh, the introduction for the adventure, shall I? Uh, it seems like an ideal marriage, although now maybe I should wind back a bit more. Nessia, oh shit! Let me let me give you a. Nessia once upon a time <laughs> is a picture of maidenly beauty at 16. Her betrothed, Carl Hines, is a handsome and athletic youth. <laughs> Let's have a look at him. Let's have a look at the handsome athletic youth that is Carl Hines while leaving with. So oh, look at him. Look at how handsome and athletic he is. <laughs> oh, I did that. He's a handsome and athletic youth, one year her senior. And Graven Maria Ulrike's heir and younger brother. Oh shit. That, that's because you're supposed to only get introduced to him now, but he was your boss this whole time, so never mind. Let's ignore that. Moving on. Uh, it seems like an ideal <laughs> marriage, although Baron Khan Hines is connected to a wealthy, powerful house, the von Leibowitz of Nolm. He stands to inherit rel relatively little and is destined for obscurity. By comparison, Baroness Nessia, the only child of Graf Wilhelm von Sapanatheim. There you go. That's it. Pains there. me every time you say that. Yeah. I'm gonna need more drink if you're gonna keep saying that name. <laughs> Don't worry, you're gonna be hearing it a lot. <laughs> Sapanatheim? <laughs> that means it's time for me to ah. just take a beer. <laughs> Oh my god, I fucking hate their name. <laughs> Stands to inherit. It's painful for me too, just remember that. <laughs> I like it. The, it only so <laughs> the only child of Grass Wilhelm von Sapona Time stands to inherit all the Duchy of Sapona Time in its sworn vassals, which includes Bogenhofen, one of the busiest trading towns in Reichland. However, due to a series of bad decisions made by her, her ancestors, 
House Saponatai is relatively poor. So one family has the money, and the other has the land. Both houses awaiting this adventurous, advantageous union <laughs> for years. Oh shit. So are you ready for some arranged marriage action? Bro. Oh, hold on. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> so, <laughs> should I marry them, boy? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. Alright, is there a wedding happening? <laughs> the wedding ceremony is due to begin at noon on Festag. Last day of the eight day week of the Empire. Guests begin to arrive on. And Gestad fucking German words. The second last day of the week. And <laughs> it just says in brackets the second last day of the week, so, so I've got to Saturday? say that instead of the German word I can't say. And it's Warhammer Sunday. It's a Saturday. <laughs> yeah, it's Warhammer Saturday. And wait, which huh. Which day of the week is the last day of the week in Warhammer? There is a calendar on the world app. It lists all of that. In okay, fact, it includes moon phases. <laughs> oh dear. That took me fucking ages, you better appreciate it. <laughs> nah. Um, the tw it's tw it'll be 24 hours before the wedding will pro prove to be quite eventful. Oh, there's eight days of the week! Yeah. Uh... Cool. Uh, I guess yeah, one on the Sunday it's, then. It's more inconvenient to excellent. Yep. It was a you mass pain the ass to, to program oh, that you, for moon phases. You, you can't even say which day's most or least convenient. That's Christ. Yep. Oh, that... Set set out. No, oh, set up oh, something else. Uh, <clears throat> so this calendar was built for feudalism. The trickle of guests begin to arrive by road and river. It turns into a flood. At about 3 p.m., the river liner Emperor von Hil Wilhelm arrives amid much excitement, carrying most of the von Liebwitz party, among them the Grand Duchess Emmanuel and, and you, you know. <laughs> Yay! Hello! Wait, sorry, are you talking in character now? <laughs> he is. No, telling. it's my narrator voice. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I was just wondering. I was just wondering if someone was rudely introducing us. <laughs> I, I was, although the countess in character. Is, oh, I think the countess is attending. Never mind. She has sent gifts. A group of known and bonly boots have come along. Their ambassadoring cousins. That there is a lot of people. Meanwhile, personal barges of other nobles and guests draw up alongside the castle landing stage. Occasional scuffles break out between crew members when two or more barges arrive at the same time. They're arguing over places to pull in. It, it, it's like, you know, a car park. And a fucking Perhaps they should consider pulling it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobles, especially minor nobles, are very conscious of status and precedence. Everyone has an opinion, but those but whose boat should be the next to dock. No one likes to be kept waiting. Is there anything specific Wait, this, you would this... like to do while you're waiting? I would I like know. to sit back and just no. watch the nobles have their little hissy fits over uh, who gets to dock next. He's taking bets on very who's fighting. Uh, 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 yeah. Excuse me, this is this is actually my field of expertise. It is. But I have no reason to interfere, so I won't. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, unless something comes up. I take it you're going to assist with, with taking the bags for the party off the boat. We have bags? Wait, by party, do you mean celebration or, par or party as in us? As in your adventuring party. The, the, um, 
well, the, the group you, you, you travel with, you know, the Baron and uh, his sister and his aunt, the Our employers. Of yes, ah, the employers. Yes, as a, as a man with the strong the back party. bonus, which I didn't actually mean to post, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I will help with that. Yep, and carry the bag. The uh, Countess is like, oh, look, it's the very strong. There you go. Also strong. A feast is held in the evening, in the great hall, to welcome the guests. Raf Wilhelm von Sopanatine. Now I understand why they keep saying his full name every fucking time. I spared no expense. Oh shit, he spared no expense. <laughs> fucking references on references. He has spared yeah. no expense in engaging legendary Bretonian chef Marcel de Morse Morceau for the occasion. Uh, Marcel de Morceau. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Entertainers of all kinds amuse the guests, including a troop of acrobats from Farward Inn. Group Scandal. Gossip and skin. So, there's a bunch of acrobats. There's like a big fancy Bretonian meal for everyone. Fantastic. Amid the merrymaking, observer characters will notice a few things. Oh shit, can I get perception checks? Probably you, not. You get plus 20. Plus yeah. 20? Nice. Yeah. Oh, that makes me putting points into this actually worth it. Okay, plus <laughs> 20. <laughs> Is it, uh, perception? There you go. Fast, did you roll perception twice? Wait, uh, wait, wait, I uh... rolled one to notice the sommelier before we got to dinner. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, 98, sorry, 96, 99. Plus <gasps> oh, also succeed. Our right. follow name is in a huff that he's not the one singing, right? Oh shit, he didn't get asked. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Sigbert Meyer, uh, Ingrid, and Mr. Azov. Four. Uh, the three of you who are paying attention, <coughs> you notice that uh, some of the uh, entertainers from Ind, the Indians, they are not playing or doing anything. <clears throat> kind of standing around the corner. <clears throat> Look at one of them and say, why no sing? <laughs> They kind of hang around for a bit and then start collecting some money. Why no sing? He doesn't answer you, he just walks away. He like holds a hat in front of you expectantly. I follow him and say, why no sing? <laughs> <laughs> I do not speak, <laughs> do not speak, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Vigorously gest gesturing something. After a few minutes, the three of you, you also notice a group of no nobles from Talent. Why no sing? <laughs> Excuse <Okay>. me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Any courtier who, who learns this may make an intelligence test. So... <laughs> <laughs> hmm. hey, uh, Ingrid. <laughs> As a courtier, yes. would you like to make a plus 20 intelligence test? Yes, I would. <laughs> um, wait, hold on. Uh, that's under characteristics. Is that I or INT? INT. Okay, I clicked the wrong thing. INT. Unless you have plus... like something that includes like heraldry or something. No, I don't think no. so. Okay. Lord. <laughs> yeah. Oh nice. shit, you know who that is. 
Oh gosh, who is it? Yeah, that's Clotilde <laughs> of Talent. And she is uh, a noble woman from Talent. Like what kind of noble woman? Like how how high up is she? <laughs> Just says noble woman of talent. I don't know. Hang on. <laughs> Let me skip to the end where it says more information about her. She is the Dowager Duchess on the prowl for her fourth husband. <laughs> well, she's yeah. Her third had an unfortunate barging accident in the canals of Talon. What about her second and first? She is, she is loud, flirtatious, and keen to display her giant gem that any who are interested in gazing at her ample bosoms. Alright, well, okay. then armed with this information, seeing as of talking to her, I'm going to just let it happen. <laughs> I oh am God. not going to come she to is... his rescue or anything. She, You know what? I don't think I have a picture... To, I didn't get to upload it left yet, but I've put it. I'll put it in the. Uh, uh, what is it called? The Discord. There you go. That's what she looks like. Oh dear! Nice. That's <laughs> uh <-huh>. her <laughs> Fair enough. Um. Before I forget, did Barnum notice the sommelier before they sat down to eat? Considering... Notice who? I think that's... Um, Barnum was earlier, uh, as we were heading off and over to dinner, uh, looking for a sommelier. But he succeeded in this. Sommelier? Yes. Um, wine professional. Oh, okay. You were confusing me for, uh, for a minute there. You're trying to get some some wine. Uh, he was looking for the person who would have expertise with wine, at least. Oh, okay. You can uh, make a uh, uh, perception test to see if you can find one. Yeah, that's the perception test earlier. Oh, the very first one. Again. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, you can find Sorry. one. You found one. I rolled uh, unprompted on that one. I found one. Excellent. He's got to keep his eyes on him throughout the night. Um, <laughs> Just so I'm aware that I've noticed one. I've, <laughs> I, I noticed that uh, she's getting a lot of flags in the uh, Discord chat. Huh? <laughs> it is, in fact, a she, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but that's oh, about but okay. Dear. <laughs> Who would pasta? <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. so uh, there you go. as of is complimenting her on, on her mustache. Um, no, I am not. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, that, was, that was all I was wondering. I, I'm busy go following ahead. the band around. Um, so, Pasty, you find some a wine boy. You get some wine, some Bretonian wine, the good stuff. Yeah, what they're called. I, I guess he's just gonna talk about <laughs> wine and Bretonia for a moment as dinner is served. Sorry, go on ahead. She has been sitting with the group in question and has been showing off a pink ruby all season. The ruby is said to have been brought to her son when she was. When he was said, sailed to Ind, the party may also notice that a richly dressed halfling, in fact, is watching the Countess and the Ind Indish performers closely. There's a fancy dressed halfling over there, watching the lady with showing off her big, big jewel. Huge, great, big tracts of land. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. a ruby. Oh, Bartholomew Barth leans over to whoever is closest. What a successful pickpocket! 
<laughs> Who did you say that to? Whoever is <laughs> closest of the party. Oh, uh, <laughs> Were you near the band? <laughs> no, I'm watching them from a distance. I'm just hanging out with the rest of the crew wherever they're at. Is there a halfling in the party? Yes. <laughs> Isn't he the halfling? He is not here. Oh, dear. <laughs> o- only Grand would know, be able to know this, so... Ah. Never mind. Can I can I like sidle up to this very nicely dressed halfling and just kind of yeah. nod towards the dowager duchess, showing off her gem and just kind of say offhandedly, um, it, it's almost like she's wanting to get it stolen the way she's flashing it around like that, don't you think? You're saying this to the halfling? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Well, as you approach the halfling and stand next to him and say that, can you make a charm test? Um, yes. Yes, I can. He, uh, he pauses and turns to you and uh, you recognize him as uh, you've encountered him a few times. It is okay. in fact... Uh, <coughs> give me a moment. I need to find a particular person. It is in fact the halfling that was previously in uh, in the uh, was it Three Feathers Tavern, Four Feathers Tavern, and he was at the theater. You have been running into him quite a lot. Ingrid might only remember like one of these encounters because we'll just say she was drunk for the other ones. Uh, as in, I wasn't there for the theater one. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna kind of I I am I believe... for a minute and just see what he was. It slumpy, slumpy Copperhead. Yeah, you've seen this person. The um, I pick... did think I recognized the artwork at least. You, but I you, didn't want to look stupid. Spotted him pickpocket a uh, the the head of the um. Um, gunnery school. Oh, that guy. That night that robbery happened. Typical halflings. <laughs> hey, was, remember, they awesome. actively tried to murder me. This isn't just racism. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is sure. just racism. It's just justified. <laughs> yeah, so what, mean, what is his reaction to my comment? But, uh, charm. Ooh. Oh, I did. Uh, uh, yes. uh no, yeah. I, I was trying to open it. One second. I got it. Um. Oh, yes. She, uh. She appears to be asking for trouble. Have I met you somewhere? You know, I've got. I've just got one of those faces. People tend to mistake me for others, but you. Oh, I know, you were at the tavern. Yeah, yeah. You got smashed drunk and passed out on the table. That would be me. Yeah, you, you need to uh, hold your liquor. How about a drinking competition? Dino. Oh, now you're talking. Oh, shit. Let's he, do he will, it. He will lead you <laughs> off to the side to the bar. Yes. All right. <laughs> Ingrid me, is immediately distracted. <laughs> She went over with the intention of, I'm going to figure out who this person is and what his deal is. And then as soon as he mentions alcohol, up, okay. she's done. <laughs> so, he is going to order two big steins of beer. And two whiskeys. Are you going to consume both? Yes. Alright, make a consume alcohol test. Oh. <laughs> okay, we both failed. I may have failed slightly harder, but you know, I think I think the important yeah. thing to remember is that we both failed. All right. Can you make a perception test? Yes. Is he about mm-hmm. to rob me? Yes. <laughs> Very yeah. successful pickpocket indeed. I figured. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Do I have a point that I can re-roll that? 
You can. You yeah. have to beat seven levels of success. Mm, yeah, I'm not confident. You know what? I'm just going to let it happen. Okay. It's fine. How, how much uh, do you currently have in your purse? Um, I've got nine gold and five silver. <laughs> you brought nine gold to the wedding? Yeah, you know, I've never claimed that Ingrid was very smart. Well, Ingrid, as you look down, don't remove it from your sheet just yet. But when you look down, your coin purse is gone. Oh, you cunt! Give that back! And he hands it back to you with a smile and he says, Oh no, miss, you're going to want to be careful. You never know. Could be uh, pickpockets out there. Just gonna snatch my my purse back and glare at him. And go. That's my purse. That's a good I don't point. know you. Yep. Take Call care. He leans over to whoever's closest again. I told you he's a very successful pickpocket. <laughs> take there. Okay, take care, lady. Thanks for the drink. And he just wanders off as the barman turns to you and uh, asks for payment for the beer and the whiskey. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna smile and go. What do you mean he paid before he left? Make a charm test. <laughs> <laughs> you have encountered Mr. Oddsocks, the Master Thief. <laughs> yep, that is my luck. <laughs> oh, he goes. Oh, did he? Okay. He did, and I'm gonna very quickly yeah. beat it. <laughs> the the hopling or? No, I'm just going to leave very quickly before he realizes oh. that I've lied. Kick. Can I get someone to do an intuition test? Anyone who feels like their intuition is like particularly good? Uh, <laughs> yes, I'll do it! I can try! No. <laughs> Ingrid is not very intuitive. Who man and sing boy will I'm not the very intuitive after all. <laughs> <Is that laughs> <one fire? laughs> Yeah, um, zero. Excellent. Yeah. Success. Oh shit, Mr. Azov, you notice that the uh, bright to be Miss Nessia, once upon a time, is outwardly radiant. Looks, uh, she looks from time to time, as if scanning the halls. She's looking around as if she's looking for someone. And she's sitting there next to. Carl Hines, the groom. She does not even glance at him. Carl Hines, the bridegroom, for his part, is in enraptured by an elegant sword that is to be his wedding gift from his new father-in-law, Wilhelm von Sabontheim. This truly is, a match made in heaven. Yeah. The two of them are staring at a lovely sword in the corner over there. Uh, da, da, da. Where is it? There it is. Oh, look at this lovely sword. Look, it's so radiant and beautiful looking. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? In oh, fairness, oh, Barnum oh, probably oh, could oh. see the good <laughs> fucking ghostly figures radiant off him where no one else does. <laughs> oh my mm. gosh. Uh, I can see these. magic, right? I'm from the wind Witchling Star. The Witching Star. Do you have uh, Second Sight? I think I do. Let me try. Oh shit, you do see that then. Uh, yeah, let me, let, yeah, I do have Second Sight, yeah. yeah. Uh, into, into eventually, yeah, I noticed the like crazy ghost face vapor sword like Ooh. <laughs> you probably see it when you kind of glance the sword but like it's not going to strike any alarms unless you want to make an intuition test to see if it would other than something is clearly absurdly magical yeah. he's not going to read too much into it right away um uh, Mr. So, yes. <laughs> so you notice that the 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 bride is looking around the room for someone that appears to not be her future husband. He is staring at a sword and is like drooling and boasting about, uh, with his uh, father-in-law about what such great actions he's going to do and some heroic deeds. How he's going to fucking stab and and murder what's his face. Um, 
filthy, filthy Harold Glundines with this with this magical blade. He, uh, as the wine flows, Carl Heinz cannot help but bow, but bow, boast and brag about the heroic acts he will achieve with such a sword by his side. Friend, hmm. Oof. He likes sword. She not like him. <laughs> Do we have <laughs> any rogues in the park? Uh... Does a boat uh, swain no. count as a rogue? Uh, for any rogues or courtiers in the party, you may make a challenging. Uh, so <laughs> courtiers, you can make a perception test for plus twenty, or any rogues, you may make one at plus forty. Oh, nice. nice. Cough. Rogues. Uh, I I think oh, I'm like an anti-rogue. So. Anyone that has the class rogue. Oh. Roll, uh, yeah, sorry, roll, roll a perception test for plus forty. Oh wow. Okay. Yes. <laughs> me fuck this this is up. why this is why I waited. Oh, plus eight. <laughs> All right, there we go. Finally. All right, the two of you notice a couple of guests who seem out of place. If you have etiquette nobles, I believe, uh, ooh, boss, you ooh, have etiquette ooh. nobles. I think I do. Yeah. yeah you kinda, Hold you, on. You kind of lean in together, you and uh, Bart, and you're like, "Hey, look, they look weird. Hmm. They are as expressive. They are as expensively dressed as anyone else, but their clothes somehow don't quite fit them properly." They keep mm. to themselves and don't seem to know anyone else at the feast. Nobles may mm. think they are provincial merchants who have somehow wrangled an invitation, but rogues will have no doubt that they are criminals of some sort. At some time in the evening, the two si the two sidle siddle up to a table near the bottom of the hall, position themselves on either side of a young male guest and a quiet but clearly heated exchange takes place. Courti courti courtiers may attempt a challenging intelligence test to know something. Would you like to make an intelligence test, boss? I'm gonna try that, but I'm not gonna I'm not very hopeful, because again yeah. Ingrid is just not smart. But here we go. Okay. Yep. You have no idea who the young male is. Nope, but I am suspicious. And those two criminals are clearly halflings on stilt. <laughs> Maybe. You never know. Uh -huh. Uh, Bart, Bart's going to dis disseminate his suspicion of those two people to the rest of the party. Whoever's here. Those two fellows look rather shifty. Hmm. Which you know, what, uh, are these again? You they look like who... Paul Halflings over there whispering <laughs> in that young man's ear, you see? Don't discriminate the halfling being half or half and half. Hey, what really I'm... disturbs me is that smoke. All peoples operate in the realms that they are most suited. That's all I'm saying. It's not a negative thing. Stacy will uh, uh, ask for someone to pass the salt. I shall pass the salt. I'm, uh, I want to keep an eye on those people who are out of place. Are they? Obviously... Are they near? Are they near like a wash, wash like the kitchen or like a wash closet or anything? There are those the two are sitting at the edge of the hole. Is there, are there any other doors behind them or anything that are open or accessible? Don't believe so. Mm. Let me, let me, uh, consult the, uh, chair. Let's 
say there's one off to the right. Bart Bart is going to spill some wine on his shirt. Oh my, I, I simply must go clean myself up and he'll get up and walk down to that end of the hallway and go through the door if he can. Oh, you're gonna walk into that room? He'll knock first. Oh, you walk in and like the uh, entertainers are like halfway through costume changes and whatnot. Pardon me, fellows, if, if I might clean up, I'll, oh, yeah, I'll be yeah, yeah. having your hair. They like make some room and so someone shouts at the others, they got like five minutes. Alright, um, okay, while, while, while he's, like, rummaging around in there, like, switching out his shirt or whatever, mm -hmm. I might steal one from, from one could, of the racks of clothing. Yeah. You know what, uh, you could easily just do that, because uh, yeah. everyone here is changing, like, outfits and whatnot, so you could easily just, like... Yeah, so he kind of, like, changes outfits and looks kind of like a performer instead of himself now. Yeah, <laughs> he's one steal of one, of the, one of the shirts that needs to put it yeah. on. <laughs> he'll, uh, he'll stay behind and not go on stage, but he'll come out and not be who he, you know, left the room as, basically. Yep. Disguise. Monsieur of Disguise. As you, uh, come out the... Hang on, let me... Mr. Ben Jemima, as you uh, leave the, uh, the changing room over here and back into the main hall where the feast is occurring, you notice a couple slipping off down the down the hallway. Hmm. Hmm. Peek. Yep. The door here is ajar. He's gonna sneak over to the door and hope he's not being watched. If there's a door here, he'll close it behind him. He's yeah. Because the hallway. Yeah. You gonna have a peek in this door? Uh, urban stealth, right? <laughs> no, you, you can easily just peek in without a stealth check. Yeah, he'll 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 give a little peek. Yeah. Uh, as you peek in the door. Uh, you hear uh, some loud rustling and whatnot, and some banging as uh, you peek in, and there's just two people are just straight up banging in the corner. <laughs> just just, just against up the for wall. Lift. Yep. <laughs> just ra rather passionately against the wall. <laughs> Alright, he'll go back out. <laughs> and uh, just hang out in the area like. <laughs> Along with the, the whoever's performing on stage, yeah, and keep an eye on those two guys in the corner standing next to me. Yeah, the two people who are arguing be are two of the nobles that were arguing begin a duel outside in the 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 like foyer, the garden out front. You can see them through the door. Some cut left the door open. Bart's going to be conflicted between potential surgery on a wounded noble and keeping an eye on these two stilted halflings. <laughs> they're not using blades, they're using uh, those dueling rapiers with the point, not the point, no point on it. I'm realizing that he's very disappointed in the lack of potential surgery oh, and just yeah. hangs out next to the people he suspects of being halfling criminals. Oh shit, everyone is, uh, Katrina would ask if I would like another glass of wine. Uh, yes, of course, oh, darling. Shit. Can I get that consume alcohol test from everyone? Yep. Uh, <clears throat> Not for me. That... I'm performing tonight. I must be at my best. Mm. Fantastic. Um, I, 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 <laughs> well, whatever. Actually, Mon madame, could I bother you? Um, no. I there would you like to do the wine tasting free. for security measures. Oh, you've all uh, managed to hold your liquor. Hell yeah. Mm. Um, Mr. Barnum. <coughs> you, you, you see a. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry, not Barnum, uh, Bart. Um, you, you see that the person who was singing steps down and goes into the back room. And as you were just in there, you were, you were aware the next singer, which whoever they may be, is currently not ready yet. There's a 
open slot if you wish to jump in and melt out <laughs> quick slot. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> He pulls up his, his little robes and skitters on up. <laughs> All right. Would you like to belt out a song? Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. <laughs> this goes through the whole thing. All right. Uh, uh, entertain, sing. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. You get oh, plus so 20 geez, because geez. the wine is flowing. People are smashed drunk. Oh shit, you get a round of applause from all the nobles. <laughs> Seeing an opportunity, um, Ingrid wants to kind of get a little closer to those people who are loitering over in the corner, the suspicious people. Mm -hmm. And uh, kind of look over to them and be like, man, they got a wide variety of of entertainment wasn't really expecting your one up there to just start singing i guess they've pulled out all the pulled out all the stops to keep us nice and entertained tonight huh oh yes he was very good ah. oh you know what i do have to say i love your tunic you've got to tell me where you got it from because it is gorgeous and i definitely want one like it Oh yes, it was the uh, best tailor shop in, uh, in Altdorf. Altdorf! Oh, you're a Dorfian! Yes. I'm assuming that's what, what we call it. Saintsies! Oh no, I'm from Bogenhofen, but you know, I travel. Oh! Very neat. Yeah, I do, you know, originally from Altdorf, but I've been spending quite a bit of time in Nuln. I've been doing a bit of traveling myself. Um, what brings you here? Aside from the party, of course. <laughs> the wedding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, but like, are you are you just here for the wedding, or do you like do you have a base here? Um, they mean by the. Your... Like to make either a gossip or a charm test. Hmm. Let's see which one is better. Gossip, or I'm gonna do a charm. Ooh, I'm gonna re-roll that. Mm -hmm. That one I'm gonna re-roll. Is that a fate or a fortune point? It would be a fortune point. Okay. Yeah, I'm fate is roll. to not die. Sometimes I'll accidentally say that because it's, it's okay. fate points in other system is for doing that, but in this it's fortune. fortune. Oh, that was even worse. All right, well, okay. I'm just gonna. I'm Fortunately just gonna for you, live with that. He failed his cool test. And, yes. Uh, well, look at you and kind of go a bit pale and uh, say, "Excuse me," and something he kind of leaves. Oh, but we were having such a good conversation. I'm gonna turn to his buddy and go, "I'm sorry, was it something I said?" He just shrugs. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Are you from? Fuck. What did he say? <laughs> what was the name of the place he said he, he was Bogenhofen. from? Bogenhofen. Bogenhof. Are you from Bogenhofen too? Uh, no, we're nearby. No. Oh, so you're local. Ah, cool. Okay. So you gotta tell me. Best pubs in the area. I don't have that information to hand. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I don't need it because he lifts off a bunch of random names of pubs. All okay. of which you've never heard of before. Which Darn, shouldn't was... be too much of a surprise to you, as you've never no. been to Bogen often before. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was... No, wait, hold on, no, I asked him, he said he wasn't from Bogenhofen. Yeah, he wasn't from here, but he lists a bunch of pubs nearby. But you've, you've never oh. been here before, so you wouldn't know anything yeah. from the pubs no, nearby. No, I was, I was mostly just trying to see if I could catch him out in something. Yep. I was, I'm just going to kind of nod and smile blandly. He seemed a bit nervous about listing a bunch of random names, but... Okay, okay, okay. We'll definitely have to check those out. Yeah, so what, what, do, you, uh, what do you do for a living, I guess? Imagine living. I know. I wish. He starts going on and it's really boring about like merchant and trade and 
traveling around mm-hmm. and whatnot. It's rather um, extensive and dull. Can I tell if he is lying about what he's what he's doing? Make a intuition test. No, this is not going to go well. Yeah. Okay. Um, intuition. Mm-hmm. Intuition. There it is. Okay. Ooh! Oh my gosh. He appears to be kind of. Blathering. About okay. Nothing. Interesting. He's not okay. actually saying any. He's not actually giving any information. He's just talking, for the sake of talking. And as okay. it is eleven o'clock, the 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 feast is now over, and people begin to get up and leave the room. I will, I will throw one thing out there when Bart Tholomain is finished singing, he'll, he'll just give himself like a little ad spot on his way off the stage. Like, oh my god. And don't forget if you need any singing surgical or barbaric As you say you that, a crook goes Turkey around your thing. neck and pulls you down off the stage. Yeah, yeah, like, nice. yeah, like it's a calm of pantomime. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, off he it, goes. The man you were having a discussion with uh, thanks you for the conversation and uh, says he will uh, hopefully see you again later and uh, he gives you a wink and uh, hurries away. I'm just gonna bat my eyes and kind of flutter my fingers. Oh, do hope we'll be seeing each other again, of course. And then he kind of just like fast walks away. (laughs) (laughs) The guests drift, stagger, and are carried <laughs> to various guest rooms. Nestia is among the first to leave the tables, pleading a headache. Oh, she has a headache. Oh no. Mm. By midnight, the Be great cool one. <laughs> By midnight, the great hall is deserted, apart from a few servants, clearing away the rooms of the feast and a cluster of crusty old barons gathered around a brandy keg, loudly reenacting various historical battles on an empty table, using salt in cellar. You know, the salt, the salt shakers. Yep. Mm. Wine glasses and a piece of fruit. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's a gold one. Yeah. So what are you, what are you going to be doing? Are you going to be retiring to your bedrooms? Are you gonna, like... Is Carl Heinz here? still awake? I believe he might be. Is he here? He's probably among the barons talking about the good old days. Okay. Well, I'm going... To, as long as he seems okay and alive and... You know... So far, everything well, seems to have gone... gone okay. Mm-hmm. Um... I might have a bit of a wander around first before heading off to bed just to make sure that, well, especially the two people I had talked to before, the two suspicious people, Mm -hmm. aren't loitering around or trying to get up to no good. Yeah. Um, where were you heading? Um, let's see. I'm assuming we're in nine. Um Yes, you're in room nine. <clears throat> number nine number nine la <laughs> Okay, um I might just kinda have a wander like up here and around Can this you way. I'm drawing a oh, mushroom. On the ground floor or on the second floor? <laughs> um, I guess the ground floor. Alright. So you're gonna have a wander around the uh Yeah, the I mostly just kind of like do a circle of the building. S- yeah. Yeah, I just wanna see if there's anyone loitering yeah. around looking suspicious. Mm-hmm. Um before yeah. heading off to bed. Um, I shall bring Katarina with me so we can pretend to just be out for an evening stroll so we don't look too suspicious. Okay. While Ingrid and Kit Katarina are off for the evening stroll, what is everyone else up to? I'll go down the I'll line. Be, Aunt Jemima, yeah. what is Bart up to? Bart's going to stay within 10 feet of Carl Hines. 
just oh, hanging out and hear all about yeah. the battles that yes, the guys yes. <laughs> but also just keeping an eye on me. All right, um, Kotrak, what is Azov up to? Carl was our boss, right? He is. Having nothing else to do, I will also guard him. Mm -hmm. You were with Bart in the hall then. Um, Master Stu, what is uh, Stacy the. or Shelly the Shalian, sorry, I kept seeing Stacy, it's Shelly. <laughs> Shelly the Shalian and. Uh, <laughs> Shelly Sig Shalian? Sig Sig Sigford <laughs> Meyer, what are they up to? Uh, I'll do a quick, like, wander around the castle, mm -hmm. the battlements and all that shit, security sweep, sure nothing. Oh, you're also oh. wandering around, okay. Yeah, and once I'm satisfied with that, I'll just, uh, me and Shelly will just go and retire for the night, I guess. Alright. Um... Uh, Barnum, you there, Pasta? Um, I think he said in the Discord, Barnum will retire to bed, BRB. <laughs> oh, did he say that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I didn't, I don't see that. Oh, it's yeah, yeah he, he did. Okay, cool. So Barnum wanders off to bed. I don't know which is his bedroom, I'll figure that out in a minute. And, um, I don't know if Barnum even knows he's um, going to bed, <laughs> wherever that is. To any bed, anyway. And Schlumpy, what are you up to? I'm going to do what Stu's doing, but going in the other direction. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> Ingrid, Sigbert Meyer, yes. and Schlumpy, can I get a perception test flat? Let me just find it. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah! So, um, Sigbert Meyer and Ingrid, you hear a muffled shout from one of the rooms. Uh, what does the shout sound like? Is it like a I need help shout or is it? Hi, I what don't are know. you doing here? Um, I want to go in the direction of the shout, then. Mm -hmm. uh, do I have my gun, by the way? Um, it would probably be poor etiquette to walk around the castle at night carrying a gun. But I'm the sergeant who does security. <laughs> yes, however, you're at a noble event. Well, so there's no security here? There is security. There is power of security, so why yeah. do I not get a gun? You can carry your gun if you wish. Yep. I don't understand why that's rude. <laughs> I mean, as long as you're not carrying it indoors, I don't see it being too much. Yeah, well, yeah I can always yeah. sling it. Well, if you're so, wandering yeah. around inside and then you rushed inside to the muffled shout was coming from, and you approach the door, and Ingrid also approaches the door, and the two of you are there. You hear some people inside shouting at each other, well, talking. Angry. Do I recognize the voices? You do not. Okay. And as you're there listening, are you putting your ear to the door? Yes. As you stand there and lean in to put your ear in the door, what are you doing, Sig uh, Sigurd Meyer? Are you also going to do the same, or are you just going to watch her put her ear to the um, door? I'll keep my gun holstered for now, and I'll use... I'll what just put a hand, a hand on my gun. sword and just kind of lean in closer and see what's happening. But... It's a handgun, isn't it? Not a pistol. No, I have a rifle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you kind of like hold it mm -hmm. off to the side. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, as she leans into the door, the door opens. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> am going to stumble and pretend to be dead drunk, which is probably not too far from the truth, and go, Oh, this... This isn't the toilet. Let, let, let me stop you right there as you, when the door yeah. opens, you just get shoved aside as you say, no, this isn't the toilet. And <laughs> two men run off down the corridor carrying some valuables. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> I will shout after them. 
Oi, oi. Why? At least acknowledge my pathetic attempt to hide the fact I was eavesdropping. You, you appear to have uh, wandered in on uh, some burglars. <laughs> Alright, uh, can I chase them? You could try. I'm gonna try to chase them. Let mm -hmm. they both run off? Yeah, both of them. Bastards, because yeah, I'm now I'll just, just... I'll just pell after them. They just, like, drop a bit like a gold piece on the ground or something. <laughs> some, like, silver pieces. <laughs> yeah, well now I'm mad exactly. because they didn't even acknowledge my wonderful acting. So. Now they just run out, ran away. You can run after them. They ran out the gate of the, uh... They're running away over here. Where the fuck are the other guards? <laughs> well, did, did, did Bart hear that kerfuffle as... as... Well, I guess they, they were out there, right? They were out they in the courtyard. And yeah. then they went out that way. Well, yeah, so they never even passed. You may forward. make a perception check, you and Azolf, as uh, uh, Ingrid shouts in the, in the garden. I mean, Bart's Bart's not leaving Carl, so if he's just he's a military. Like, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I wouldn't leave either. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Small. That's none of my business. Um, I need to roll to catch up to them. Uh, make a perception test to see where they went. <laughs> okay, no. As you get to the gate, outside the gate, over here. I'll use a fake point. Uh, yep. Nope. Nope. You, you seen them run out? Ha ha! Run out the gate, and you didn't see where they went. Angry. I've rolled a success. You see them running down by the river in the darkness, and uh, clamber into a boat that was waiting for them. Bastards. Mm -hmm. I shall sear their faces into my you, memory. You'll be fully aware that again. by the time you get there, they'll be gone. Yeah. That's why I am searing their faces into my memory, so I will recognize them the next time I encounter them. Okay, well, then in that case, I'm going to go back to the room where. You can head back into the guard. <clears throat> yeah. As both of you are up by the gate. This outer gatehouse over here. Yeah, can I head back to the room that they burgled to see if the. You can head back in here. Um, so, it is 12.15. There is a commotion at the foot of the stairs leading to the Solar Tower. Which one is the Solar Tower? Solar Tower is number 16. Uh, where is number 16? Oh, it's over here. Hmm. So, uh,. Mr. Bart and Mr. Azov, as well as, uh, you know what? Everyone could make a perception test and see if you hear it. Oui, oui, monsieur. Any mod? Don't just flap. No, nope, Carl's right here. I noticed. Okay, yes. Whatever I noticed. No, but Mr. I noticed. Azov, you heard like a loud noise. <laughs> it's a commotion. Oh, my deal. I. So my my two my plus two success. What what what's the noise I heard? You and Mister Graf Wilhelm von Sapolitime wander out to investigate. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. You and the Baron wander out to investigate. You find Graf Wilhelm von Sapolitime has fallen over down the stairs, <laughs> knocked over a suit of armor, and it's on the floor. He can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> Is he okay? Uh, white-faced and gasping, he stammers incoherently about a monster in his room. Uh, there's someone in his room. Oh, no. Is it Kislevite? Hmm. It might be. Oh, dear. Uh, no, I asked that. I asked him. Oh. He's just rambling incoherently as he's, like, really drunk. So, no idea what he's <laughs> saying. But he, you, all you can make out is a monster in his room. Uh, it's in there! Get it! Help me! The Baron assists to lift him up. Some um... servants come and assist in cleaning up the statue, or the uh, coat of pseudo armor that fell down. Bring him over here! He looks like he could use some doctoring! <laughs> Some servants run up to his room to go and stop the monster and kill it. Mm. Mm. 
since I, mm. with my role, did I hear what's going on? Yeah, you heard the, because uh, you were in the outside in the garden, you heard yeah. the noise. So you came in and you see these people lifting the baron into the to the hall. Did I hear him going on about monster in his room? You heard him say monster in my room. Okay, well then grumbling to myself because I was really hoping to just go to bed after this point. I'm going to go upstairs to see, check out his room and see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Apparently, uh, let me put down the Baron. The Baron, there he is. Has uh, tending, tending to his wounds. Let me let me put him down and let me go. Is he sick? There you go. Currently has three terror conditions and is also broken. Oh dear. Uh, well, come, come, broken. come, 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 heal, heal. Um, <laughs> it is impossible to. See. You you can't get anything coherent out of him other than monster bedroom. Uh, oh shut! I I will come back to you trying to calm him down in a moment, Ben. Uh, yes. boss, you said you're going to his bedroom? Yep. Who else is going to his bedroom? Very angrily, just uh, fuck sake, can't get any stupid sleep in a, this stupid castle. If I'm Do around, I know. yes. Mm-hmm. I will also so now. Yeah, just put yourself over like here a... on the tower. <laughs> Monsieur? Yeah. Master, Master Stu, where is, uh, Sigurd Sigur- Meyer? Um... I don't know. I failed the perception, so I'm probably not aware of this new development. All right, you could walk into the hall, or you're like out here somewhere in the garden. Yeah. Big bird. Big yeah. bird. They went upstairs in that room. They said there's a monster. Beautiful. All right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go up yeah, there. Well, oh, yeah. my fucking so God. as you all like search his room. <laughs> All of you and the servants, you all just like pull the room apart. You like look under the bed. You look in the cupboards. You look everywhere. There's there's no monster. Okay, we it's got like it. Magical horror. <laughs> there's no what monster. What if we were the monsters all oh. along? <laughs> uh, Mister um, Bartholomew Chumps, would you like to make a heal test and or something? to help calm this man down. I will sing! <laughs> then calm him down, now I get him more agitated. <laughs> hey, I'm a good singer. Not <laughs> me, but the part is. <laughs> <laughs> Butterfly kisses in a bedroom print. Try to calm him down. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Oh. You are my After a few moments, he calms down and turns to you and he thanks you for helping keep him safe. He will, All in a day's work. He will explain to you how he was awakened by a horrible, snarling figure that, uh, mm-hmm. uh, with rotting, with a rotting head and golden jewelry, the thing mm-hmm. made mm-hmm. no attempt to harm him, but seemed angry and spoke harshly in a foreign language. <laughs> Writing all this down while nodding. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Snarling horribly, foreign language. <laughs> there. Now let's tend to those bumps and bruises. Oh yes, thank you. Heal to Yeah. Yeah. You, you can. You don't need to, but you can if you want. Yeah. I mean, if I don't need to, I'm not going to risk a bad roll. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Once the graph gathers its wits, uh, he surely demands the characters exercise the wrath. Uh, he asks you to, to um, <clears throat> make, exercise make that, the wraith? That sword over there? No, it's his hmm. wrath. Um, can you, um, you know, get rid of it? I'm sure my talented fighty friends can. Yeah. Uh, per- perhaps uh, it might be best that uh, he like whispers to you because he doesn't want the Baron to hear. He's like, perhaps mm-hmm. it might be best that I, I, the Baron doesn't get that. I, I think it's cursed. Mm. 
All right, good to know. He just writes down his notebook. Might be. I don't want them to think. To, I don't want them to think I'm trying to kill them. That's the blade covered in screaming souls, right? Yes, that would be that one. All right, that one. Okay, yeah, yeah I can see that. Being cursed. Ben Jemima, you have inquired the blade with screaming souls coming out. Oh, damn it, me. Sigbert, Schlopper, <laughs> <laughs> somebody who swings swords around. <laughs> It just like kind of goes over to this hallway, <laughs> like just leans the around the corner. Big bird. All right. Over. Um. <laughs> the fuck is this? <laughs> it's not really my area. He pulls out his notebook and like goes, "Monster with a rotting face, golden <laughs> jewelry." Exercise the wraith or wrath, I'm not sure. Sword might be cursed. There you go. That's all I've got. Here's the sword to exercise the wraith. Here you go. Uh, <laughs> you uh, as you're like having this discussion in the hallway, <laughs> a uh, suddenly a spooky figure appears. Oh. Uh, screams at you. Mm. The fuck? Uh, the Is bar immediately collapses again. Punch! And, oh, it's uh, the imperishable. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I am going to need you to, um, roll a test. Uh, ooh, what kind cool of test? test? Punch! <laughs> Bart's gonna keep uh, gesturing the sword Does towards Sigmar. Does anyone have <laughs> language Arabian? No. Nope. No. Okay. Does anyone have language magic? No. I have second no. sight, but no. that's basically okay. all I have magic for. So, um... Make a cool test. <laughs> Flat. Sigmar! Everyone. Sigmar, take oh. the sword, Sigmar! Does that oh. include the people in the tower? Uh, any, anyone that was present for this conversation with the sword? Oh, I'm oh. still in the tower. I'm uncool. I only have overheard bits. Yep, the Strazov. Uh, you begin screaming, yep. and you now have three terror conditions and one broken condition. Oh, I failed it less badly. Uh, Mr. Slumpy, you also begin screaming. Have three terror conditions and one broken condition. Yay! Mm. Three terror, one broken. Nice. Yeah. Uh, how did you get uh, Bartholomew Chums? A cool tell. Plus, <laughs> plus five. Appears, <laughs> screams in your face, roaring in a <laughs> random language you never heard. And you just stand there and go, hmm. What was that, he sir? Just, <laughs> he just looks back and forth at the notebook and the monster. <laughs> Pure description. <laughs> Glad I was ready for such could, a thing. Could, could you repeat that, sir? <laughs> Is that with a ah? Or with yeah, a, he just starts ah! like writing in his notebook. Kriga Bundalo. <laughs> like phonetically spelling foreign. <laughs> if if the creature is attacked or otherwise offended, in other words, if the sword is not playing, I believe Colt Rack said he tried to punch it. Um, Coltrack, can you roll a uh, unarmed strike test, please? Uh, so is this messed up by the fact that I was terrified or something? I uh, know this will be before you got the terrified condition. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I just wanted to determine something. Uh, uh just I want uh, you to just mod? roll. No, nope, just flat. Okay. Uh, do you you do magical attack? Huh? Is your knuckle dusters magical? I wasn't informed of such. Okay, your your uh, fist Th would have struck. Also, wasn't they're not. Your fist would have struck it only for it passes like through the spooky ghost, and uh, then you get a bit tired. So does the critical success make it magical? No, but it did piss it off. Hmm. I feel ripped off. Um. Oh, don't worry. You're, you met a friend. Uh, in other words, the sword is not... 
Ooh. Yep. Oof. Does anyone want to do anything about the screaming, terrified people running around? I don't think we really can at this point. Uh, at least most of us. That were there. As you come down the stairs, Copperhead is there screaming at you. <laughs> Yeah, um, I guess I'll ha hearing all the screaming, I'll I'll go downstairs to see what's what the hell is going on. Considering Ing Ingrid is uh, leading the charge, Bond's gonna follow. I'm going to assume Bart has no choice but to draw the sword. <laughs> Bart, why are you drunk? What the fuck is going on down here? I'm afraid I have no choice. You have a choice, you're drunk! Have some water! The, uh, the Baron, uh, enters the room, and is like, Carl, stay back! There's a beast! There's a fiend! Why are you holding my sword? There's a fiend! Give me my sword. Monsieur Bart is drunk. Please, uh, Bart, drop the sword. Let the Baron have his sword. Carl, here's the sword. Oh, and he'll pull the notebook. He'll, there he'll... is a room. He wanders off oh. and he puts it back oh. up in its place down. Oh. Ah! You are crying! Oh. Your father-in-law saw a beast, a fiend, and so did we! And because he, he is not so dark! And he said only your magic sword could slay the fiend! Oh, that sounds like Would nonsense. You... I'm going to bed. Is the sword still on the stand? Yep. <laughs> Where you... This Bart's gonna look at it and watch him go. And once he leaves the room, he'll both pick the sword back up and like start following him back towards his bed. Wait, wait, wait. Well, I think there was something to what they were saying. That sword is smoking. No, wait, that's shrieking skulls. Quiet, I know! <laughs> What's going Bart, on now? You're not Bart, just drunk, Bart's are you? Bart's going to go to where Carl's room is and stay outside. And listen for the the fiend <laughs> in case it attacks Carl. The sword ready. As you sit there outside his room, the fiend appears in front of you again. Can you make another? Another cool test. Another cool test. <laughs> All right. This time, can I attack it with the sword? You could well? attempt to do so. Uh, do I get any bonuses because I did such a good job? <laughs> can I? Can a, I'm ready for can it. Can have a plus ten. Yeah. If, if Barnum is in the vicinity, as oh, yeah, Barnum, you're there to me. The other guys, yeah. by this time, you're starting to calm down. I, I need to do the next thing in a second. Do, does he have to do a uh, cool test? Yep, Barnum. <clears throat> yes, sir. All the right, guy just uh, keeps what? appearing, screaming at you, and then just disappearing again. Ring at him while he's here! Well, what are my sword stats? How do I roll swords? <laughs> uh, I was trying to find the stats for that blade, but I can't quite find them right now. <clears throat> how, do you, how do you want me to roll a swing at it? Just do a weapon skill test. Alright. Uh, melee basic, or...? Uh, basic. Alright. I actually got a success! <laughs> You hit the creature, but it uh, disappears and just looks pissed off. <laughs> but I hit it with a magic sword. Yeah, you actually damaged it. In fact, oh, it... oh yeah. you know what? I don't think it disappeared this time. Would Bottom be able to see this creature? Because it was magic. Seen. Hang on, let me let me place it down. Azir, let me just um, put you in like a corridor randomly over here for a moment. To see yeah, right, from so. everyone else. Um, there you go. So there's the creature. You have struck the creature. Can you make a strength test? Uh, S, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll use so, a fate to roll again. You hit it for zero damage. <laughs> I want to use a fate to re-roll that. Yep. May I? Okay. Yep, you can. No, it's still no good. Or a fortune, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. You hit it for two damage. There you go. The fiend! The creature, now pissed off because it got punched and now and now it's <laughs> been hit with the blade, turns to you. And it goes to lift its sharp claws. Gonna... Is Barnum able to see this creature? Barnum, you can see this creature. Bart, what have you done? I'm committing self-defense! <laughs> I think this is out of our pay grade. And the others! The creature is gonna strike at you, uh... Bart jumps. Alright. I'm going to use my dodge if I can. You can use dodge. Alright. Beat seven levels of success. Uh, nope. Yep. I got plus two success. Yep, the creature does seven, eight, nine damage to you. Reduce Ooh. by your armor and your toughness. Uh, three. Uh, I don't. How do I calculate that? Hold on. Here. Armor, I have three armors. You one, have three armor? One. How much is your toughness? Do I have three armor? I don't know. I don't I haven't I haven't been in a fight enough to know how to calculate my my armor. Uh let me find bench, one bench stacks, I think. Uh skill uh, with your toughness, gear. Maybe. You have one armor and you have okay. uh three toughness. So you have four, so you, you got hit for nine damage. So, so you nine. reduce nine by four, so you get hit for six damage. Okay. Yeah. Nine minus four is five. Oh, five damage then. Yeah. Cool. Oof. All right, Barnum, would you like to say or do anything? As this creature has just slashed your friend. Uh, you might need is some Bot surgery. Is Bot still holding the sword? Yes. Give that to me. Mm-hmm. You don't know that to handle this thing. I hope you're better. I'll try. Right. Okay. <laughs> you gotta uh, grab the blade, gonna... and you gotta try yeah, and attack I... him with the blade. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know it. It's a strength test, right? Yep. Yes, sir. Well, it's a weapon skill to hit, and the strength to do damage. Yes, sir. Let's do that then. Mm -hmm. Flat. Okay, I'll take the ZS for it being flat. Let's give it a go. And it's loading. <laughs> a little bit. And I fail. You missed. Okay, I've been drinking a bit too much wine. I've been wine tasting. Uh, don't hit me, please. Then give me the sword back! Oh. Uh, okay, okay! <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> Alright. Bart, would you like to attack the creature again? Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, make a weapon skill test. <laughs> you, <Another> hit. <laughs> you succeed in hitting it. Would you like to roll damage? Uh, yeah, I'll roll another strength. That'll go great. That'll go so good. Should I reduce the creature's damage? Never mind. Nope. <laughs> you give the creature more hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a fortune point? Hmm. Um, I, I, I do, yeah, I'll use one more. Uh-huh. Uh, let me re-roll You 27! You hit the creature for, uh, five damage. Hey da, 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 da. Sigmar! <laughs> Sigmar! <laughs> Shlubby! <laughs> Bugman! The creature Hello. lashes out at Barnum. No deal. Misses. Ha ha! You can't eat me, I am. <coughs> Barnum, what are you doing? He's gonna grab the saw back and just attack frantically. Yep. Let me just move He's you over passing here. Passing the sword back and forth like a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Yep. Yeah, it's a fucking at this Pirates point, of the Caribbean. At this point, the rest of you can hear a commotion in the hallway. Big bird! Big bird! Barnum, what are you doing? 
Uh, yeah, Mist of Order or what? You know what? That might be that might be handy. <laughs> yeah, might be, that'd be uh, a good idea. Well, yeah. actually, stop rolling it. There it is. Um, I have it. Roll initiative. Hey, that's not so bad. Yep. I'm surprised I hit. Don't forget to click your token before you roll initiative, everyone. Okay. And it was strength for damage, so let's give that a go. Yep. Hey, am I rolling initiative or am I terrified yep. or something? Mm. <laughs> you, your terrified thing is worn off. Yeah. Oh man! Yeah. Oh man, oh. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I hit, but I don't think it's very effective. As, as you come to Coat Rack, you hear a commotion in the hallway. Oh, it's gone. I must have won. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, there we go. Yep. Oh, yeah. My morale has improved because now I know I just beat up whatever that monster was again. Um, I have the fun thing of uh, the roll 20. Okay. Why, why do you have to do that roll 20? Ingrid. I mean, I... Oh, you like. Yes. You hear a commotion in the hallway. What are you doing? Um, well, I ran downstairs to see what was going on, and then I failed my cool test. So I assumed that Ingrid just turned around and ran back upstairs into the tower. And hid, yeah. Yeah, and so now back at the top of the tower. <laughs> going, oh, I'm not paid enough for this. Mm -hmm. Um... But I guess she's still hearing what's going on now. So if she's managed to recover from her terrified state, she will slowly venture back downstairs. Mm -hmm. You enter um, the room just... to see the creature again. Roll a cool test. God damn it. I made a terrible decision. Yep. Welcome to the club. You managed to hold your stomach. Oh, yes. What okay. Are you doing I... As you enter the room. Um, 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 I'm going to... Ooh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> hey, is the, the father-in-law, is he still here? Yeah, he is getting up as he was hiding under a table. Okay, can I, like, grab him and drag him into the into the doorway here and try to usher him up the stairs, up the tower story? Yeah, yeah, just alright, yeah. right, back to back to bed with you. We'll we'll take care of this. Go on now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I guess that that'll probably be my action. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yep. yep. That's all I can do. <laughs> uh, Bart jumps. It is your turn. Would you like to attack yes. the creature again or run away? Yeah, I, I have no choice but to swing at it. <laughs> Okay. Make a weapon skill test. Another... How am I it's doing this? How am I... How am I hitting this thing? You're, you're slightly above average with <laughs> melee basics. Roll, roll damage. Yes. Or, um, when I say roll right. damage, I mean yeah. strength test. Yeah. And, uh... No! Plus four. Uh, so... You hit it for four damage. Oh, oh man! Love it. Somebody! Someone with big arms, help me! <laughs> well, I don't have big arms, but I'm still here. Uh, Sigbert Meyer, as you uh, yeah. recover from being terrified, you hear a commotion in the hallway. Okay. Uh, let's look at my move. It's, it's, not, it's not actually the Great Hall, I'm just using the Great Hall because it's the biggest room okay. for the moment. Just hear the, the annoying guy muffled down the hallway. <laughs> Screaming. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So I can run oh, sixteen, I think. So the I the, the I thing get... is inaccurate, so you can you have enough to get into the room. Basically, you can walk okay. into the doorway and then take an action. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it's minus twenty to shoot without hitting those. Guys. Uh, the the range is inaccurate. Ignore that for a moment. So is it point blank or? Surely? It would be point point blank. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, I'll risk a shot. I'll yeah. put a minus 20 on as well for yeah. uh, basic shooting without hitting them. Yep. Uh, Bear in mind, if you fail this roll, you might shoot your friend. Oh, no. Um, so, the way it works is 
you can choose to take basically a cold shot to oh, avoid hitting okay. your friends at a minus 20, essentially. Okay. You take careful aim and shit. Um, yeah. Because also point blank, it just goes to minus 10, uh, plus 10. For All minus right. 10. Here we go. Let's see how this shit goes. Uh, and good. Da 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 da. Uh, I hit with three degrees of success. Nice. Is your weapon magical? No. Your bullet goes right between its eyes, and passes through and into the wall. Nice. <laughs> okay, upon seeing that, I'll be like, ah, oh, shiza, here we go again. <laughs> yeah. <I'll... laughs> and I'll holster the gun and draw my sword instead. <laughs> mm hmm. Bart's still holding the sword, <laughs> like, Hey, Bart! Right, <laughs> it's a right. magic sword! Yeah, I'll, I guess I'll give that a go. Anyway, that's my round for now. Yep. So. Uh, Wilhelm, uh, it's upon a time, will uh, attempt to break free of Ingrid, trying to pull him away. You idiot, I'm trying to get you to safety, <laughs> go you, upstairs! You, you drag him out of the room. <laughs> yeah. There you go. He's not in the room. Uh, Mr. Azov, it's your turn. Oh, man! Uh, <clears throat> you were aware that when you punched the creature, you did nothing to it. Well, uh, in which case, uh, I, I, I don't have anything magical. You could shout at it, throw something. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Try and grapple <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, 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 that does that's badass there, tell though. There, like. <laughs> I mean I already punched it out. Yeah. So hmm. uh is there anything magical nearby? It's waving a sword Wait. around. As far as Wait you're concerned, second. only the sword is magical. It just occurred to me. I'm surrounded by friends. <laughs> That's the true magic. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit, if you channel your friendship, you might be able to do damage. Use your random eight powers. <laughs> Feed with a stick. Kick. The, re I the real magic was the friends we made along the way! <laughs> All right. Yeah, but necromancy isn't allowed. <laughs> is there anything you'd like to do? That's only if you play by the rules. Is the, is the power of friendship magical, Cross? No, not enough. What? No, <laughs> not, that's not enough, enough magic. You don't believe this in your friends is... enough for it to be magical. Hold on a second. What do you mean I don't believe enough? Can I attempt to believe enough? Uh, you can make it magic. <laughs> is <laughs> is, is, is Asma going to do a magical girl transformation <laughs> right in front of us? But, but guys, we were going to invite his character, like, next week to the the uh, Nolan Altdorf uh, Territories Organization. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you actually gonna do you I mean, any action? In I mind? seem to. I seem to be left with literally nothing that I can do. You can try and do uh, an int check to see if you, if, I, if, you, if you would like a hint. <laughs> He's a tripling idiot, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> any modifier? Nope. Just int. There we go. So, oh, what's my hint? That is your hint. <laughs> you, 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 you said roll int for a hint. Yeah, I did, I yeah. Hint. And then I was silent, yeah. and that was your hint, because you failed. You got minus five. <laughs> yes. Whoa. We didn't say I had to succeed for the hint. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 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 well, right. that wouldn't be a hint. If you're gonna be it? pedantic like this, then I guess I'll just go without a hint. Alright. <laughs> hint the Copperhead. Roll int, roll int. As you roll come, in come to your senses, you hear a commotion in the hallway. Oh, man. Hey, bro. Okay, I'll spend my turn believing in my friends. There you go. Yep, That'll yeah. give them the magic they need to beat the enemy. Well, you never know. <laughs> Mr. Copperhead. Azov, believe in you! Hmm. There, there, there you go. Skug? Yep. It's your turn. Yay! How do you respond uh, to the screaming in the hallway? 
Well, as a off. polite member of society, I'm not carrying my firearm currently. Um, <laughs> however, I'm pretty sure I have a halberd. So I'm going to go and try and vigorously poke this thing. Yep. Uh, you charge towards it. I do not have a weapon profile for that. However, I have for a poleaxe, so I'm going to guess it's similar enough. Mm -hmm. You have a poleaxe. Oh. Yeah. That's more polite to carry around than a gun. As you strike it in the left leg, Maybe. you realize it does no damage. Hmm. Hmm. That's a nitty. Now, I rolled a decent amount of damage for that. Yeah, you so did. That's, However, did. that's reassuring. The creature yeah. turns to you, Skok. Excellent. And it is going to slash out at you with its sharp claws. And miss. And see that. Yes. Mr. Barnum. Weird magical creatures slashing out. I will grab the sword again. Mm -hmm. It's a back and forth. <laughs> yep. You so say you rolled well, I had a success level plus eight on my punch and it didn't do anything. <laughs> Yeah, but it's a halberd! You get the impression that your melee weapons, without magical quality, are not doing anything to this magical creature. That's fine. It can enemy. still be wrong. It literally has the magical yeah. quality. <laughs> I well, keep failing! Yeah. I keep whoever... eating, but I keep failing. Mm -hmm. So whoever has the magic sword can please kill it while we keep distracting it. <laughs> I'm no good with this! Barnum, He's coming! As, yeah, you, good. as you slash at the creature with your, uh... Oh, you hit it. But you... I I fumble at the damage. Hang on. How I, uh, I fumble I with 100. That? How the fuck do I interpret that? Uh, Vince. you hit the creature, but you... <laughs> your, your... Your general Frenchness and mincing too much means that you're... <laughs> you accidentally <laughs> dropped the blade. Fair enough. Yep. The second time I've done this. Yep. You hit it, I've but you, it. you dropped the blade. <laughs> I keep hitting it and then failing at the damage face. Right. Yeah. Right. Faster. You're a you're a spellcaster, right? Do you have any offensive spells? I could turn the floor on fire. I guess. Yeah, do it. It'll be funny. <laughs> That's literally magic! Why aren't you doing it? <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. It's your turn. Of, uh, the thing you is, I need to kindle. magic and you didn't use your spell. <laughs> I need to kindle something physical. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Ingrid, by this point, has probably seen the others <laughs> attempt to attack this thing with their weapons and see that, okay, that is not working. Um... The only thing that seems to be working is the spooky sword. Yep. Uh, and Ingrid, you know, let's just say, because, you know, she's a courtier, she knows kind of how cow castles work and things like that. She probably talked to some of the servants before the party. Could she have an idea of where, like, the armory might be, or the barracks might be. Like, is there a possible way that she can go find a magical weapon or two to bring back to the battle to you, try to help? You might be able to, like, summon the guard and ask him. Yeah, okay. I want to go find a guard and I yeah. want to ask him where, where we need magical weapons As you, to uh, defeat this round the corner, ghost. a guard who is rushing towards the sound of commotion uh, stops to have a com conversation with you, and you ask him where the armory is, and he points down that way. Oh, perfect. Great. Yes, I'm gonna run run to the armory. Yeah. Kind of stands there, and it's like, oh, okay then. And he just wanders <laughs> in the direction of the commotion. Yep. Yeah, well, you know, he'll figure out soon enough. It's fine. I got I got other things in my mind. I yep. gotta go find a magical weapon. Bart, it is your turn. Bart's gonna hand the magic sword to Schlumpy. <laughs> Okay. And push, I... him, push Schlumpy in between him and the monster. Are you gonna accept okay. that, uh, Slumpy? Yeah. I mean, okay? I don't. It would be rude not to. Okay. I'm not go. even remotely proficient with one handed weapons, but it'll be fine. Okay. Kill it! Kill it! Sigbert Meyer, it is yeah. your turn. Your bullet went uh, right through right. the creature. 
is there enough room for me to get into this? Yeah, yeah. There, you should be able to get it. Right, it's I'll, not actually I'll... in this room. This is just a... Shove myself in with that. Um, yeah. Can I <laughs> pass the parcel and grab the sword temporarily and try you, and use it? If, if Slumpy's okay with it, you can grab the sword. <laughs> Consent. Just <laughs> yes, I mean, this just hot potato with the Pirates of the Caribbean movie at this does point. It, does it have enough of a grip on it that I could hold it two-handed? <laughs> no, it's it's a kopesh. But he's got little oh. no dwarf hands. <laughs> Rude. Okay. <laughs> um. So I think we've been forgetting uh, the outnumbering rules. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do we outnumber it by three to one across? Currently, yes. Okay, oh, I do. get a plus 40 to hit that. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll roll with the sword. Mm -hmm. Magic sword! This Yay! Is regular sword. Yeah, very basic. Yeah, you hit the creature. Roll damage. Uh, either a strength test or if you have a melee sword, that will be helpful as well. Um... Well, it's the base damage of the weapon plus my success level, so you yeah. yeah. So, oh, okay, yeah. So that's a, that. That is your sword that you used. Um, the plus my strength bonus, which I will write down yeah. there. Uh, so, plus three. There you go. So five plus its base damage, basically. Yeah, plus four. Uh, so it's two plus five. Uh, so four plus five is nine. So you hit it for nine damage. Yeah. All right. As you strike the creature, uh, where do you strike the creature? It doesn't matter. You strike him right in the chest. The creature looks at you dead in the eye, Master Stu, and it screams, "Return the blade!" And then it disappears. Oh shit! Wait, in English? I, I heard it. Uh, it says in a language you don't understand. Okay. But you get the so said, but you get the impression that it's saying we're fucking return my blade, motherfuckers. Okay. okay nice. Is it saying it in the language of magic? <laughs> he done pretty well, <laughs> so he, he understood his body language enough to know that's what it means. Yeah. Um Bart Bart pulls out his notebook and writes Snark Bar Dugar Gar <laughs> I don't yeah. know what that means. I have no idea. I'm just glad I didn't have to set fire to this place. All right, it is now at least twelve thirty. <laughs> Yay! I'll return the sword um, to the pedestal, I guess. And, uh, be like, "Thank uh, you, Herr Comrades," and then I'll inform them that I got the impression the horrible monster wants the blade it returned or some shit. That was the impression I got. Like, I will say that... Well, I, I don't know why. The, the trader I bought it from was, like, very adamant. It was from a... You know, a tomb that was not raided. Hmm. Yes. Did they get a sword out of a tomb without raiding it? <laughs> you know, uh, I do believe it's uh, practice in tombs not to disturb what has been in tomb. No? Yeah, it's the finest Nekar... Our uh, fucking Tomb King land mm. blade. <laughs> yeah, I so, think if you keep that thing, you are. Uh, what do we, what you say? Um, Scoot. I will repeat. As you're having this conversation, a woman's scream <laughs> happens. Yeah. Further down the nice. hallway. <laughs> Come well, on. Where is Ingrid? She ran it's off it's... to the armory. Has she just yep. reappeared with an armful of hopefully magical weapons? Well, you find or... an armory. Yeah. You can see it, all the weapons in through the bars. But the door is locked. Wait. Oh, for fuck's sake, that stupid fucking guard. Can I find another guard? <laughs> yeah, there's a guy, like, inside the window looking at you as you, like, rattle the door. It's like, what do you want? Oi, oi. Uh, we have a really spooky ghost thing that can't be hit unless we have magical weapons. So I really need some magical weapons if I'll you have anything. I'll piss off and he closes the slide on the door. <laughs> Oi, I'm gonna bane on the bane <laughs> on it again. Oh, I'm not gonna fucking leave until you give me make, some magical weapons. Make a charm test. Okay. Or an intimidation. Uh, charm. Or intimidation. No, it's, definitely, it's definitely gonna be charm because 
my intimidation is terrible. Yep. Ah! He opens the door. And there. he's like, um, magical weapons? Yes. Please. He like looks around and he's like, I don't think we have any. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's what do you guys fang, do if you get a... But, you know... There's, there's oh, hang what? On. There, there's no room fang, never mind. Oh. Yeah, he's not He's not a uh, electric count. He's a graph. That's different. Yeah, okay. Well, what do you guys do when you get attacked by magical creatures that can only be hit by... That can only be hurt by magical weapons? Well, he starts being sarcastic about, Well, miss, last time the magical creature attacked, we politely Kenny. asked it to leave. <laughs> Well, that's not fucking working this time. So a little less of the attitude and a little more of the help. All right. Out you go. <laughs> Bastard, I'm going to go find someone who can actually help me. I'm going to go I'm just going to storm off. And as you're storming off, you hear a woman scream from down the hallway. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, I'm going to run off in the direction of the scream. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with this place? You approach the door that you were at previously where the robbers came out of. A woman has now entered and is now screaming. I'm going to burst in. Yep. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> <laughs> you enter to find that that small nobleman. The one that you failed on the test to identify before. Yeah. He's dead. For fuck's sake. Wee. He's also tied to the bed. <laughs> Wait. In like a sexy way, or in he was held hostage way? In the he has been severely beat kind of way. Okay, but the sexy <laughs> way, <laughs> or the held hostage way? No, in the uh, in the he was tied down to a bed and they beat the shit out of him. Oh, oh. Fuck. You're not okay. really narrowing this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is still it's a... not the sexy way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember who you're talking to? Yep. Um, okay, okay. Do I recognize who's the lady in here? Uh, it's just one of the servants. Oh, okay. However, um, you, do, you do notice there is a herring just shoved into his mouth. A herring? A red is it herring? Red? No, a regular herring. Like oh, okay. the fish. Yeah. <laughs> um, can I tell how long he's been dead for? Given that you were here probably about like 15 minutes ago. He's probably been dead 15 minutes. Okay. I can't believe um, you killed him, boss. <laughs> you know, you know, sometimes I black out. You know what? As remember. you're all currently present right now, if any of you has a lower Marienburg test, you can roll nope. that. Not I me. do not. If any of you would like to make an intelligence test, you may do that. <laughs> Sure, I will sure. do that. Unless one of you is a racketeer or a rogue, let me know. And... Oh, I'm a rogue. Okay, rogue, you may make the same test with plus 20. Oh, well, it'd be a 71, so it would not be <laughs> okay. It technically passed. Alright. Apparently, so I did pass. So, uh, what are you doing in intelligence, um, Ingrid? Uh, I'll try and just see what happens. Slump Barnum Slumpy. Uh, yeah, that's my thought. Just Barnum and Slumpy. You notice. That uh, this uh, weird act <coughs> of shoving a herring in his mouth is a thing that um, uh, one of the gangs from uh, Marienburg tends to do. Weird king, it's a, calling king. Card. it's a calling card of the gang of Mar of a gang from Marienburg. I heard it's something to force people from Marienburg. Specifically, Mar uh, Albrecht's the fishes gang from Marienburg. Somehow Apparently, a fishman does it. Yep. Did we encounter the fish gang back in Altdorf? Or is that a different gang? That would be a different fish gang. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a river. Were, there are many they fish were like a, Yeah, they were like a salmon gang rather than a herring gang, I get it. <laughs> Basically, something along those lines. It's probably yeah. a different yeah, fish gang. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 
Okay, well, uh, I'm going to try to find a guard to notify and say, hey, we got a, a dead body that we might need to As you approach the guard out. who is outside the upon a time apartments, you ask him. Go on. Uh, we got a situation. Um, one of the guests have been murdered. So we need we need someone on this like now. As you are just talking to this man, a young man leaves the uh apartments. Whose apartments is this? Like is this the, the, the father in law or upon a time family apartments? Oh, There's just a the family man, apartments. Man. He is smartly dressed but not quite noble. Leaves the apartments. Pauses for a moment, goes, oh, apologies, and then tries to move around you. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm going to move out of the way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, so, I don't know what your protocol is here, uh, but yeah, we got it. We got a murder victim, and we need to um, sort that out. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he hit wanders in and goes, oh god, why is there a fish in his mouth? See? Yeah, it's weird. I know. Apparently, there's fish. Uh, there was a fish gang out of M Marienburg, I think. Uh, apparently, they do this kind of thing. The young man stumbles and falls over. Mm. Hey, you! Say... Who are you? Uh, I would say probably by now, Bart comes running in with Schlumpy in tow, holding the magic sword, like, I heard a scream, where is it? The the young man <laughs> introduces himself as, uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. he is so drunk, he can't quite understand what he's saying. But, uh, the guard lifts him up and uh, begins to, uh, ferry him to his quarters. Unless you wish to uh, speak more to him. Um, well, Ingrid being a expert in drunk talk, uh, ha you know, she's quite fluid, fluent herself, having spent much time speaking in it, is going to try to get what information she can out of this guy. Oh, oh. No, I'll make a charm test. Okay. Oh, this is gonna get spicy. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Make an intuition test as well. Yeah, that's all right. I'm not very intuitive, but I can charm. Would anyone else like to make an intuition test? Because if she can, someone it, please help. Because you sure. you're all present, watching this drunk man get get helped up. Let's do it. There's nothing uh, magical about this, no? Nope. No. There's just a drunk man in the corridor. Alright. It's plain. Well, it's lagging. The drunk man um, asks you, uh, Nessia, um, where asks uh, you, Ingrid, where Nessia's bedroom is. Oh! We just oh. got two successes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those of you who succeeded on the intuition know that uh, this man is probably not supposed to be there. They look like the guy who was pounding the person in the room earlier. Uh, no. Um. Hmm. Uh, Monsieur, I think you're drunk. I think we should just take you back to your quarters. Where is your quarters? <laughs> Kind of, oh, kind of goes silent and kind of gets a bit shifty. Come I'm just gonna now. like clap a clap a hand on his on his shoulder and go, "No, it's fine, it's fine. Look, I'm here, I'm here to help you out. I know, I know how it is. You get get a little, get a little bit too drunk and you kind of lose your way on the way to, you know, the as uh, Ingrid is just just many times with the drunk man. Mr. Barnum Chumps and Mr. Er, Barnum and Mr. Chumps, you notice that this guy is not actually drunk. He is just pretending, and he's 
really bad at it. <laughs> I've seen Drak in my left arm, you're not <laughs> You bastard! What are you doing? Yeah, he's totally sober! Anyway, there's a- <laughs> there, where's the ghost? <laughs> yeah. Not the ghost now! Bastard. Alright, so I'm gonna grab the guy by his collar and go, Okay, who are you? Why do you want to know where Nestia's bedroom is? Um, menacing him with the questions. magic sword, messing, uh, menacing at him with the magic sword. Oh shit! <laughs> oh dear! Come along, come along, not drunk boy. <laughs> no, no, no! Drop that thing before you get more trouble. Uh, and he's like, uh, I gotta go, and he opens it like a side room, and he opens the door. Hey, I'm holding, just... I'm holding him by his collar. Yeah, but he tries to leave, and he opens the door that's next to you, we're and not, it's just two people him... just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just, oh, they're still at it! He just <laughs> closes the door. It's like, uh, uh, not that room anyway. Uh, yes, no, no. I think you're going to, to answer our questions here, mister, before you can go anywhere. Who are you exactly, and what is your relationship with, uh, Nestia? He introduces himself as, uh, Yakum Bitterfield. Yes. He Do a, I know this name at all? Uh, no, you wouldn't. He is a okay. jeweler's apprentice from uh, Altdorf. I see. Well, Monsieur, I take it if nothing else, you're fucking somebody in there. I don't know who, but if it's Arts? the daughter. You better keep up. He he goes a bit red and he's like, oh no, nothing of the sword. Mm -hmm. Or just advances on good. him with the sword. Spill the beans, boy! I stabbed the ghost <laughs> twice tonight and I'm ready to oh, taste it. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Try to intimidate him with a sword. Make an intimidate and oppose the intimidate. And so you make an intimidation and he's gonna make Do I get a test. bonus because we've got him cornered and I've got a magic sword and I'm crazed out? <laughs> <laughs> you can have a plus 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've stabbed a ghost twice tonight. I'll do it again. He's <laughs> like, oh, um, me and Nestia, she wants to run away with me. She's so not going to. Out. She's going to marry the Baron, and they're going to wipe out the name. You will not run away with anyone today. <laughs> Listen, not that's tomorrow. my best friend's girl. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> friends, girl. Oh dear. One one of the uh, people from in the room that was banging just just like she, one of the like servants. She like comes out like adjusting her dress and uh, like drunkenly like attempts to brush by you and stumble off down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna let her go. Can I hand this guy off to one of the guards and be like, okay, stick him in a dungeon or something. We'll we'll deal with him later after we sort out the whole murdered guy thing. Have him discreetly executed if you can. <laughs> or just give him nothing to drink but vinegar. Ah, good idea. <laughs> yes. So. As the guy, uh, go, the guard goes to escort this man into the cells, he uh, opens a door at the end of the hallway big iron bars on it and as he opens the door out bursts so least in a naked man oh oh dear he was really hairy yes. was... like Bart knocks Bart him aside and it with the sword begins the running towards you okay <laughs> well what kind of shit show you guys running here Keep your own prisoners on the guard. Bart I've been to orgies with better organization. <laughs> I'm Bart, sure Bart you Bart have. Charged the ghost <laughs> yes. and sword and realized he forgot to bring Schlumpy with him. I I will presumably be following. Schlumpy. The guy <laughs> like runs into a side room and like you hear a bunch of pots and pans just falling over as he like stumbles into the kitchen. Monsieur, this is not the wine room. Wait a minute. 
That's I, no ghost. I, 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 as you again. chase him, he, you end up chasing him into the hall. He ends up in the great hall. The Eleven's. Schlumpy's in a very unfortunate position. Let's just all be oh. calm. Oh. <laughs> 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 you, you know, uh, bo Bottom's gonna try to talk him down. Monsieur, it's going to be all right. He's going to approach a bit. He rushes away from you and heads in the direction of uh, uh, the uh, family apartments. But Monsieur! No! Damn it! Hold him down! I need to get <sighs> close! Monsieur! Art's just gonna stop overwhelmed by everything that's happened tonight. What kind of castle is this? Why is there so much chaos here? Where are the guards? Chaos. Yeah, some of the guards are standing there like, oh, oh shit. And they begin rushing after him. What is this place? Yep. Would someone what like to try and tackle him? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to try. Make a strength test. I'll reload my gun. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really done with this. This is so stupid. <laughs> Oh, there's so much, so much chaos constantly. It's like, what is anything? Oh fuck! I was hoping it would work. All right, Master Stu, you have your gun loaded, and he's running down the corridor. Um, I'm gonna roll a d, a d two. One is um yes, two is no. Okay, I'll spare him for now, but I'll just run after him, I guess. It's a good I thing you did. You'll find <laughs> out why in a minute. Right on <laughs> What's happening? I'll tell you in a minute. What are you doing? You want to try and I know. tackle him? <laughs> Make a strength test if you want to try and tackle him down. No, you know what? Just, just, just fucking let him run wherever yeah. the fuck going. I, I don't He's care He's heading now. towards <laughs> Nessie and the the Graf Wilhelm's room. Yeet. Whatever, just let him do it. If he does something weird, I'll shoot him. Wait! Wait! <laughs> yeah. Bart's gonna resume the chase after realizing where he's going. Monsieur! Yeah, Bart's, Bart's probably not gonna keep up, because Bart stopped in the middle of the fight to just question his life, and then just realized where he was going and started chasing him again. Yeah, I don't doubt a uh, fucking bottom's just toppled over into a wall. Yeah. What happens when he gets to Nessia's room? <laughs> I am trying to read it. He's not going to Nessia's room, he's going to his father's room. Oh! <laughs> Wait, what? No. Oh! <laughs> Oh, shit. Well, you know what time it is. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Fucking yeah. hell. Um, so, uh, I guess at some point along the way he grabs a knife. No, oh, no! I don't want to question where he was sheaving it. <laughs> he probably grabbed it from one of the tables in the hall. His prison pocket, you know what I mean? <laughs> As you uh, stand there outside the room, he runs upstairs with a knife. He starts running up after him. Uh, and knife. around the corner, you bump into someone. There's a Hello. lady. Pardon me, crazed man in the car. Look out! Lock your doors! Hide your kids, hide your wife! <laughs> yep. ne Nessia, looking up, sees ja Jakob. And is like, Jakob. And then suddenly realizes she said the name out loud and then starts pretending she's sleepwalking but failed her check. <laughs> We're like, look, I won't say anything. You won't say anything. Let's just get you back to your room. We've had a lot of shit going down tonight. I'm ready for this night to be over as soon as we, like, we have a situation with with the naked hairy guy running around, so... Are you escorting her to her bedroom? Yes. Okay, are you entering her bedroom? Uh, yes, because I want to make sure okay. she actually gets... As you walk her into <laughs> her bedroom, you notice there's a letter on the dressing table. Ooh. 
Ooh, I want to be Snoopy. Can I see if it's addressed <laughs> yeah. to someone? The rest of you here are screaming coming from the father's bedroom. <laughs> That's where I am right now. <laughs> Alright, I'll come back to you in a moment. Uh, so, the letter, uh, pretty much saying goodbye father and running away. I see. <sighs> Alright, look. Uh, anyone who enters the room at <coughs> after this time will find a note to her father propped up on our dressing table. The note explains that she has eloped with her true love and rather than face this arrogant marriage. Arranged Arranged? Marriage. Arranged marriage, yes. Oh. I mean, sure, it can be both, but, you know, yeah. just, just follow check. <sighs> okay. It's only one that's so kiddo. Okay, my lady. Uh, look, I know. It's not ideal to be marrying <laughs> someone you don't know and all that <laughs> other good stuff, but look, just listen to me. Once you pop out an error or two... They don't really care. You can have all the affairs you want. It's fine. <laughs> Just to hold on until then, okay? Can you make a charm test to try and convince her? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That's close. She's like, you sure? <laughs> yes. Believe me, I've served lots of nobles it happens <clears throat> all the time again what? you just yeah make sure you pop out at least <laughs> like two airs because you need a spare in case something happens to the first one and what about sure my, they... my true love and she like points at him down the hallway <laughs> getting is dragged off to the prison cell look if he's really <laughs> your true love he'll be willing to wait and if he's not willing to wait in the prison to cell <laughs> <laughs> in, a, in a prison cell or outside, doesn't matter where, the point is... You, you went from doing really patience. well to doing really bad very quickly. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's okay, look, I'll talk to the guards, I'll see what I can do about getting them out, okay? Could you make but another you... charm test? Yeah. This time it's opposed. No, oh, no. You just, you gotta stick with it for a little while longer. I should have been <laughs> She's oh. like, oh, okay, then. Alright. You're gonna stay here in your apartment just to go to, go to bed, <laughs> have a nice sleep. I'm gonna go take care of all the other crazy <laughs> stuff that's happening out there. Okay? Okay. Ingrid's gonna take the note and leave. <laughs> Alright. So, Ingrid has just left Nessie's room with the letter. Bart... And who else has entered the Graf's room? Uh, Bonham would be joining. Uh, Bart, Bart is Bart. hot on the heels of nudist man. <laughs> the nudist man. <laughs> With the magic sword. I'll just have my gun ready and stand out just outside in the hallway in case it gets The nudist work. man rushes into the room and attempts to stab the Graf. As the Graf says, no, my son. Stop fiend! Before realizing that there's two people there and then he suddenly... Is like shit. Mon Dieu! Why is these nudies just assaulting? All right, these gentlemen. You will find out all that and more next time on. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> In Warhammer Fantasy. Du -du -du. <laughs> and this kid is why you don't take the name once upon a time. Yes. A lot of unfortunate things is gonna happen to you. Yep. I don't know what Bart is anymore. I just love how <laughs> it seems the I just love how it seems the adventure itself wants to wipe out the name once upon a time more yeah. than we do. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know what Bart is and I don't know. <laughs> So. I think Bart does either. Yeah, he's, he's just he's having a bad time. He doesn't know what's going on. All he knows uh, is he's having a ghost. We, we shall leave it there for today. Uh, <laughs> is that your final message? Yes. Don't be yeah, chasing water. Perry magic can be very useless if you're actually in battle. Yep. That's my final message. All right. 
Well, guess we'll see you all next time for some more Warhammer Fantasy and the continuation of Nessie's Wedding. Mm. Goodbye. 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 <laughs>